I saw a quote from like the critics because you know they love the Meg and all that kind of stuff and the quote was uh, it's Jurassic Park and Jaws on steroids that is our critics out there guys those are the people telling us go see this movie because it's Jaws and Jurassic Park both Spielberg movies on steroids yep those are our critics the Meg. Listen, I'm gonna get straight to the point. If you are going to go see this movie, you know what you are going to go see. It is Jason Statham versus a Megalodon, a shark, a 75 foot humongous shark. And I will say this, the movie has a, a good little bit of scenes that it knows that that's what it is. So basically the movie is about these this billionaire guy, Rain Wilson, Dwight from The Office, has this big submarine place and these people get trapped under the water, under the sea level, which unlocks this thing, it's like an air vent, whatever they said, and a Meg gets out of the vent and then basically now the shark is terrorizing and they gotta get Jason Statham to stop it. Um, so the trailers first off lie to you. They show you the ending of this movie because all the chaos and everything is literally the last 20 minutes of this movie. Most of this movie is about a rescue mission and trying to stop the shark before it gets to there. That's what the most this movie is about. But, again, this movie, like, I'm not gonna go critical on this movie. So did I enjoy it? It was pretty bad. I'm sorry. I thought this movie could have been way better. First things first, Jason Statham was perfect in this title role. I think he was actually perfect. He was perfect. He looked like he was having fun. Everyone else looked like they were like kind of being serious and then there was just bad acting and then cliche characters. Like Cliff Curtis in this movie, he was having fun in this movie, but he was doing good. That's what that's exactly what they need to do. Jason Statham was just doing good and having a lot of fun. Then there was this love interest that I just was like, really? And they try to give us emotional like sad scene towards the end I'm like this is not this movie we don't go for this movie for depressing we just lost this person oh my god like we didn't even care about these people none of the characters like you care about I mean Ruby Rose like oh my god like she like she's great in Orange is the New Black but if she's in a movie she just can't act I don't know what like, she there's a scene where she's crying and it is laughable I literally started chuckling I was like this is not right but she can't do it overall the characters are just cliche I don't care for them they're there to get eaten or build some mechanic thing to stop the shark but then fail and then just get eaten that's what they are and my god I mean the biggest thing the one thing the, the thing that would made this movie a lot more fun and probably better if it was rated R, if it was rated R, it would have been so much better. I promise you, I would have changed the grade for this movie because there are scenes where it's like, this is actually really brutal and it's showing like an arm limb with blood on it and you're like, why can't this be R? Like, what? Like, why? And it's page 13 and it looks like it's like holding on. Like, we're trying to get an R rating but we just can't because we want money even though this movie's gonna flop really hard. This is a $150 million budget movie. There is no way it's making that much in domestic. Maybe over the seas, but over here, there is no absolutely way they're making that money back in domestic gross like no way but overall there are a few fun scenes there's an, a really fun scene towards the end like the last 20 minutes of this movie is pretty enjoyable to watch I will admit there's a few lines in this movie where you know it's dumb but you laugh at it but overall the movie is dumb if it was rated R it would be so much better but overall I would say you could watch it on TV, have one good enjoyment, and never have to watch it again. It's not the worst movie I've seen all year. It's not the best movie I've seen all year. Nowhere near that. But it is what it is. If it was Radar, it'd be so much better. I am going to give The Meg a D+. Plus. I think it's, it's a bad movie, but there is enjoyment in there. It's just, if it was Radar, it'd be so much better. It'd be so much better. Even Jason Statham and the director even said they wanted it to be Radar. That's just clear and simple. That is the main problem, and that is that's it. That's the main problem. So, hey anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.